Corsair, NZXT, EVGA, EK, Alpha Cool, MSI, Be Quiet, Arctic, Cooler Master, Deep Cool, Gigabyte, Lee and Lee, Thermal Take, Fan Takes, and many, many, many more. These are all manufacturers of 360 millimeter AAOs and the staggering amount of competition for Razer and its entry into the cooling market. Like some of those competitors, Razer started out making a single product, which I believe was a mouse, and over the years expanded into pretty much every corner of the gaming market. From gaming mice, to gaming laptops, gaming keyboards, to gaming masks? Razer has plastered black and green on everything a gamer will touch and created a cult following. It makes sense then that along with your Razer keyboard, mouse, headphones, chair, and case, you get a matching AAO cooler. The question is, how does it stack up against the competition? I'm Jesse, this is Bartman's Bits, and today we're talking about Razer cooling. Now mounting the Hambo is pretty straightforward with an adjustable mounting plate for various Intel sockets and support for 12th gen and its LGA 1700 socket. There is no change to the cold plate for 12th gen, so don't expect any improved cooling for that 12900K. We'll get into cooling a little later. Now I did have a bit of an issue with the mounting orientation. Because the hoses come out of the side of the stack, they did interfere with the memory, also with the heatsink on the motherboard on two sides. There was really only one way that I could mount it. But as far as the logo cap on the top, that is magnetic, so you can pop it off, put it in the right orientation, and then put it back down. Let's talk about cable management. It doesn't have any impact on performance of an AIO, but being that most of these coolers have the same guts and relative performance, secondary things like cable management or the quality of the fans start to take center stage. Front and center for the handbow is a big ball of wires. There are cleaner solutions from other brands, and just like I said about the MSI mag, it's a deal breaker for me. This AIO is heavily focused on design, with its unique fans and admittedly beautiful RGB rings, so having a bunch of cables, even if they are nicely sleeved, <laughs> laying all around, takes away from the overall aesthetic. Razer offers a fan controller and an RGB controller as add-ons for 50 and 40 US dollars respectively, but I fail to see how that would help with cable management unless you can remove the main cable from the pump and just use a USB connection. Well, I don't have those controllers anyway, so I can't say either way. The RGB is bright and tastefully done with Razer choosing to avoid whole fan lighting like other brands and instead keep their outline of color theme found on other devices. If you have other Razer products, this will play well with the selected theme. You can sync all of your Razer Chroma compatible devices together using the Synapse app. Before we get to that, a word from the sponsor of this video. It's me! If you want to support this channel, then head over to Bartmansbits.com and take a look at the merch page. We've got t-shirts. They're available in a whole bunch of colors and sizes, so go take a look now. Now! Go! Profits made from these shirts keep the lights on, so scoop up a couple today. Now, back to the video. The Hanbo uses Razer's Synapse app for control of the fans, pump, and lighting. I've never really been a fan. <laughs> Pun intended, of this app as it's a little resource heavy and tends to be slow on loading and lacking features. Just a quick example of this is when you go to set the custom fan and pump profile. You go to the advanced tab, move the sliders based on fan RPM and CPU temperature. That's pretty standard for fan software, but where other apps go beyond this, allowing for 100% setting at all temperatures or basing your fan profile on another temp reading, Razer decides to limit your ability to customize. It's adequate enough to get you the colors you want, where you want them, and do a very simple fan curve. So, good job. All right, time to talk cooling. 12900KS running stock on a Gigabyte Z690 Ultra board. Fans set to normal with some Cinebench, and we get, wait, what? Something is wrong here. 3.4 gigahertz on all cores. Into the BIOS we go. Here we go. Max performance, engage. Let's try this again. Okay, seriously? 3.4 gigahertz again. What the heck, Gigabyte? Let's stop messing around. XTU for the win. See? 3.4 gigahertz. Profiles, default, apply. There we go. That looks much, much better. R23, 
start. And throttle. Fans? Anyone? Gonna speed up there? No? Let's set that profile to 100%. Now that everything is working like it's supposed to, we can see that the handbow is capable of keeping the 12900KS in check during single Cinebench runs. Only when it is run long enough for the water to heat up do we start to see the occasional 100C temp and some throttling. But as we've seen from other coolers, this is kind of standard and on par with the performance of other 360 millimeter AAOs. During normal use, the temp should stay in check even inside a case. Unless you need to do heavy AVX workloads, you should be all right. The fans are pretty quiet when the normal profile is selected, but as you saw just a second ago, it is pretty slow to spool up under load. Best to set it to performance or set your own custom curve. At 1,249 real, the handbow is sitting near the top for a 360 millimeter AAO, and unfortunately does not come with an LCD screen like the equally expensive NZXT Z73, MSI Meg, or Corsair H150i Elite. For me, not having this feature puts the Hambo into a lower cost category with the likes of the EK Elite, Corsair Capellix, MSI Mag, and Lian Lee Galahad. With a similar performance to those AAOs, the Hambo doesn't really make sense, unless you are going for an all Razer build, or you're loyal to the Razer brand, which is totally acceptable and works a lot of the times, especially if you're streaming or showing off your PC in the back of videos or however, keeping to one brand can definitely look aesthetically pleasing. So if that's your intent, by all means, it's going to perform just fine and look good doing it. The extra you're paying for is the Razer brand. So if that's your thing, go for it. That's gonna do it for today. If you wanna pick up the Hambo, head to Store 974 in the Gate Mall. You can also check out their website at store974.com or download the app. If you decide to pick something up, make sure you use the code BARTMANSBITS at checkout for a 3% discount. 3% of that purchase will come back to helping this channel so I can keep making awesome videos like this one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.